I took the lead, we shook his sheets, advanced, they did the deed Don't blame it on me, we grown, it's a natural thing There's no rules in the night, I'm grooving Thought you said you was my type, I'm moving Too slow, text back like shit, I'm cool with it I can match energies, babe, I move to your flow Alright you guys, so today is his birthday and we just came out to Lucille's and today I wanted to try the fried dill pickles. They sound interesting to me. And then I saw this Tennessee hot chicken sandwich. I seen it on YouTube and I said let me try that. So that's what I'm going to try today. Uh, if you guys don't know about Lucille's, I think, I don't know if they're out of Tennessee but it's a barbecue place. Made it to 50. A lot of us don't make it. I'm just grateful and thankful and happy at the same time. I'm here with my wife at Lucille's and her mother came and had a birthday meal with us. So, so we're at Lucille's, yeah, at a barbecue place, uh, restaurant. So that's where we at. They got, they specialize in different barbecues, y'all. Uh, are you getting some barbecue today, man? Uh, it depends on how much everything is. Since everything has gone up, you guys know how I am. Uh, I usually do take a bottle of barbecue sauce with me, not take it. I usually buy it from the front. I don't take it. Looks so, good, y'all. Yeah. And she brought us some sweet biscuits, but we didn't ask for them. Oh yeah, they're complimentary, I guess I should say. We gonna taste one. Are they soft? Uh, kinda, sorta. All right, tell the people what you got there. Fried pickle. Fried pickle. Now, what do you do with your pickle? Did you try the other dip? Try the other dip. <laughs> what does that taste like? Horseradish. Horseradish. It's good though. It's good. Mm. Horseradish mm. and ranch goes with fried pickles, y'all. And it's really good. Okay, that's what's up. I would definitely order these again. Okay, that's what's up. The JP spinach dip. The JP spinach dip, huh? <laughs> you can hear my voice. Okay, and see your hands, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get that. Let's get that. Okay, she's about to go in, y'all. So if you guys know him, you know he's very finicky. This is a horse radish dip right here, and he's gonna try it. Two different dips, a ranch and a horseradish. When I dip this ranch and I bite it, I don't know if you guys ever heard of wings and things, but they used to they used to sell fried fried what is it, fried broccoli? Fried broccoli. Fried broccoli. This tastes very simple. It tastes real good. I couldn't even imagine the fried broccoli. I couldn't imagine eating it when you told me about it, but if it tastes like that, it must be good. That was good. That was real good. Drink time. Tennessee hot chicken Tennessee sandwich. hot chicken. It looks a little different than it did in the picture, but that's that okay. Yeah, the one on the picture looked like it was dipped in some hot sauce. It looked wetter, but I'm not mad that it's not wet. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, and then it has a pickle on there, supposedly a sweet pickle. 
50 years. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we have a all-American cheeseburger just because I'm finicky and it's lunchtime with french fries. And, uh, and you're you know, we just, Oh yeah, and the Calais. <laughs> and it's almost gone. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know. So y'all already seen what I'm eating, right? <laughs> what it tastes like? Is it good, bro? It's tasting good. Very good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, so it's good. And yes, it is hot. Okay. Alright. The Tennessee hot chicken sandwich. He's not an experimental type of person when it comes to food, but he is trying something he's never tried before today. It's less sweet. It tastes like it has mustard in it to me. Mm, I know. You guys got this? That you can't believe what you just saw. Uh huh. I didn't even see any um, navy blue hoodies to go with the sweatpants. He made it, you guys. He already made it. He already he made it. it. It's not gonna be a. Uh... He got himself a nice little gift. You guys were in the store with us, you know. Yeah, it's not gonna be a. Uh... It wasn't no big shindy. Yeah, yeah. We ain't, you know. Hey, look. I'm just grateful and thankful. That's that. That's about it. You know what I'm talking about? We not, we not boasting on ourselves. You know what I'm talking about? We not partying. None of that type of shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, just just grateful and thankful. It's new. I'm even feeling the newness with him. It's new. I'm right behind him. Look, look. And then get a look at it right now. Because uh, it, it's, it's about to change up. Believe that. And I mean that. We mean that. You 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 in with me? I mean, all she, in. She just she just three months behind me. You know what I'm talking about? So we gonna be doing this all over again. You dig what I'm talking about? But I'm gonna get us on that running start. So we about to run. Okay. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're just back in the house. We went. We just stopped by the store. It's Monday. It is the Monday before Thanksgiving, and I was about to go get me some greens. So I thought. But it is store, crowded out there. Oh my God, the store was so crowded. So I'm assuming a lot of people took the whole week off of work. Eh, just my luck. Anyway, um, we're not cooking on camera this year. She's about to get to this cake though, <laughs> even though. Even though we're not about to eat the whole cake, she gonna make it for her husband one time for my mom. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, we about to get to it. You ready to get to it, babe? Not really, but uh, it is a box cake, so it should be easy. I'm not gonna show you guys that either. I sure you don't wanna see me step by step. Y'all don't wanna see my cake? Y'all don't wanna know what kind of cake I like? Oh man, well y'all should know if y'all pay attention. So, I need to ask you a question. What? Because we did talk about Thanksgiving and we did talk about, you know, what we celebrate. You know, we don't celebrate the history of Thanksgiving. But what can you do without on your Thanksgiving plate? <laughs> Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> oh, shoot, I forgot. Yeah, we're not having mac and cheese this year. As a matter of fact, I don't... Did we make mac? We didn't make mac and cheese last year either. No. Yeah. But I could do without macaroni and cheese on my plate. And Real talk. You didn't used to like yams either, huh? Uh, but I could eat some yams. But yams, sweet potato pie, I take the sweet potato pie over just the yams. But either or, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, someone got offended because we said we don't shop at Walmart. It's not that we thought we were better than anyone. I mean, you don't own Walmart, so you shouldn't even be getting offended. Yeah, right. It's just our particular Walmarts that 
I have been in that are in our areas, they are a nightmare store. It's like too much work trying to shop there. You go in there and get stressed out. Look, and check this out. When, when Walmart hit our neighborhood where we was at, oh, yeah. it messed everything up. You had crowds of people coming into your into your uh, area. So tell me messing a up bit traffic. About that. Tell him a little bit about where you're talking about. He's talking about when they added that Walmart into the Baldwin Hills Mall. You guys remember that? Yeah, I remember that. They, that, they that messed kept everything it there up. just long enough okay, to cause a change over there, a certain type of change. That's right. And they gave it did provide jobs to the locals in just the for a little while. Though. And then they took then the they shut it away. down. But that was the beginning of gentrification <laughs> in the Crenshaw District. And don't get offended. I mean, I know a lot of you guys, that's probably the only, the closest store you have to shop at. We're not downing you or anything because you shop at Walmart. We're just saying we have choices and Walmart is not a choice. Just because we shop at a different store. Didn't we even down Walmart? We didn't even down Walmart. No, no, we we just said we don't shop at Walmart. We just said should be picked over and shit. Right. And you said you some, some, something, something. No. But yeah, it's not downing. Yeah, I mean, if that's the only choice you got. Hey, I'm sure you're... I have been to different Walmarts. I've been to a Walmart in Alabama. I went with my cousin before, and their Walmart was different than this one. This one here? Yeah, I just know about the one Raggedy, we see. Raggedy, yeah. picked over, dirty. That's my cousin. That was my family. That was my first cousin, Tina Weena. Thank you, Tina, for giving me that birthday wish. I appreciate it. She said the same thing, though. She said she turned 50 and she put on her dress. She said, damn, she ain't know she was, she was, she was growing. We all be growing. 50? Come on, man. So like I say, I was telling her the little story. We went to Macy's. I walked past the mirror and something just said, look over as I passed the mirror. And man, I ain't like what I see, man. So. And don't blame me. And, and she, she don't cook nothing bad. And, and, and just on video, it looks like that. We don't eat like that all the time. We've started exercising, you guys see, so we have to really be consistent. And we gotta cut out, what are we cutting out? Bread. Yeah, bread. Certain alcohol. Certain alcohol. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta leave my alcohol. We don't eat going. too much fried foods. Yeah. And look, check this out. I'm looking for a couple of 21 basketball players that's uh, around my age. I don't need no youngsters. I just need some people my age. We go to the park and shoot some ball. You on the internet, right? You open yourself up, and it seems like the wrong people be on your channel. You know what I'm saying? Let's just say that. So we got a message from the wrong person, and we wasn't even talking about nothing bad. You know, I think we were talking we about We weren't saying we were thankful that person read they told us, the wrong way. We yeah. said too woke and broke for Thanksgiving, meaning Thanksgiving Day celebration. Right. Not meaning we're not grateful for the roof over our head, uh, the food we have to eat. Not not meaning that, but it takes someone who shouldn't even be watching. Yeah. Don't even. You know, I don't even want to go there. But yeah, right. See, seem like they about. didn't even belong on the channel. No, they did. You know, what I'm like about? how did you? They get can't there? relate to us. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. We go eat TV. Appreciate you. We will see you in the next video. Yeah. Next episode. We go ride TV. It's my birthday. Thank you, baby. I love you. Just thank everybody for the birthday shouts out for real. I truly do. For being a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, we don't want to see